morning everyone. Welcome to our maths lesson. Monkey and I, we're ready and raring to go. I hope you're ready to learn too. Let's get started. Now we're still thinking about zero. Can you remember what that meant? That's right. It was the absence of something. It means there's nothing there, doesn't it? Now today we're going to do another counting back song. And this one is about little men in a flying saucer. Now, I found some of my toys to sing this one with, so Iron Man's going to help us, and I think Superman might be joining us too. Let's get started with that song. Oh, monkey, what have you got there? Have you found some of your toys? Oh, I like those. And you've drawn the flying saucer for them. Shall we sing the song then, Five Little Men in a Flying Saucer? Okay, off we go. Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. How many have we got left? One, two, three, four. So there was one less than five. Leaves us with four. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. We had four, we've got one less now, and now we've got one, two, three. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. We had three men in the flying saucer. One's flown away. Now we've got one, two. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. We had two men in the flying saucer. One less than two leaves us with one. I wonder how many there are going to be if this man flies away. One little man in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked left and right, but he didn't like the sight. So that man flew away. How many men are left in our flying saucer? That's right, there are zero. There's no one left in the flying saucer. I wonder who's flying it. It's your turn to sing with me now. Are you ready? Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight. One man flew away. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. One little man in the flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked left and right, but he didn't like the sight. That man flew away. Can you help me with this challenge, monkey? We've got to look at the pictures and decide which picture has zero in it and which one has lots of objects in it. Let's have a look at the bus first of all. There are two buses. How many people are on this bus? Oh yeah, I think you're right monkey, there's no one on this bus. What about this bus? Ah oh, yes, I can see the people on this bus, let's count them. One, two, three, four. There are four people on this bus. So there's zero on the first bus and four people on the second bus. So which bus has zero people on it? That's 
right it's this one isn't it i wonder if you can have a look at the next set of pictures which field have zero horses i'm gonna let you work that one out yourself can you finish off these pictures and work it out for yourself at home so which tree has zero apples which plate has zero buns on it and then at the bottom there's a line there for you to you can practice writing your zeros or if you can't print this off you can always do this on the screen so decide which one has zero in it and practice writing your zeros on a different piece of paper that's okay too have fun working it out thank you for joining us for maths today monkey what did you like today Oh, Monkey really enjoyed playing with the little men in the flying saucer. Finding one less each time until we had none left. There was zero. What else did you like, Monkey? Oh, Monkey liked looking at the pictures and trying to decide which picture had zero and finding out how many were in the other picture. What a great lesson today. See you later and bye for now.